What's up YouTube? Wanted to show you the T-Post fence and gate that I made using these T-Post hinges you've probably seen online and are wondering if they work or not. Well, they sure do. Uh, real easy to install and put on. Uh, I was going through trying to figure out what sort of gate, whether I get a prefab tube gate or kind of make my own, and I ended up making my own with wood. These little black uh, pieces I got from Lowe's, two for $11. So these just slide right over the T-posts and are held on by the nubs on the other side when you're installing them. This one on the bottom has a 45 bend on it. The pin faces upwards and the washer goes on it. The one that goes on top, this is a 90 degree angle. Uh, the pin faces down and there's no washer, but you do stick a nail or a couple nails in there to hold it in place. And it pivots uh, real smooth. Works, works real nice. I also had real good luck with these T-post clips. Uh, made by a company out of Indiana called Lockjaws. Uh, they just they they look like this and they go on uh, Real easy. They're they're, they're spring-loaded uh, If I was to do this again, I would have flipped the t-post the other way So the pointy part isn't you know facing towards us. I don't want my uh, Baby, you know running out here and scratching himself up. So I got a pack of these little uh, vinyl tips they're for uh, covering your dishwasher rack uh, but I got them on Amazon bag of a hundred for seven bucks and they slide right on there because it's a eighth inch uh, inner diameter so yeah that's that's it uh, if you're thinking about pulling the trigger on these uh, hinges I say go for it and these uh, clips made things real easy